Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming WWE DVD schedule. We'll be heading out to Wrestling DVD uh, Network, checking out their website, and having a look at the upcoming DVD releases. So unfortunately, there hasn't really been, you know, any, you know, major changes as far as North American releases go. We're still only in the kind of pay-per-view schedule, whereas on the UK side of things, they are, in fact, you know, releasing quite a few compilations this year it's unfortunate too i think i've uh, mentioned this before warner brothers definitely dropped the ball with this and I'll, I'll i'll always hold the grudge against them for for doing it for whatever reason they have you know they're only sticking to the pay-per-views premium live events whatever we want to call them now so yeah, let's head over to their site and take a look at some of the upcoming releases. So as we can see here, some of the upcoming WWE DVD releases. So yeah, if you're ever curious, take a look at the WrestlingDVDNetwork.com and you know, it's fairly easy to navigate their site. You know, they do have some uh, quick options here in the, you know, top right-hand corner. With uh, network updates, DVD and Blu-ray release dates. So, yeah, this will be, uh, this will be a little cool video to kind of check out. If you are in the U.S., WrestleMania was released this past <clears throat> excuse me wrestlemania was released this past tuesday may the 10th in canada it'll be released on may 24th so if you're wondering about why your retail stores don't have it yet may 24 check it out it's going to be uh it's going to be there personally i only grab the blu-ray and i grab the exclusive uk dvd set and i make kind of my own you know customized wrestlemania blu-ray combo pack i'm not sure if we're getting a bonus disc this year um you know i'll keep you guys updated with that so yeah um one dvd i completely forgot about was right here the elimination chamber i honestly thought it was already out um so <laughs> june 14th we're gonna go through uh each and every release here june 14th is the upcoming is gonna be the next dvd after wrestlemania so it looks like we're back to this schedule now you know for a while there it was uh pretty much the same day maybe a week later but for a while there i think they were all on the same day not sure what changed recently. Why why aren't all DVDs released worldwide the same day? It makes zero sense. We're in 2022 here. You know, with, with overnight shipping and things like that, there should be pretty much zero delays in uh, DVD releases. It will make zero sense to me. Maybe one of you guys know, but uh, yeah, so May the 10th, uh, we're going to scroll down a little bit here at the UK releases. So, uh, again, the UK release dates are a little bit different than the, you know, US, Canada. So I'm guessing for Canada, the June 14th will probably be around the 28th, you know, give or take a week or two. Um, again, it's just really unfortunate that it has to be... Uh, done this way absolutely zero reason so 
So for all you uh, Ruthless Aggression fans, this DVD was just released uh, a couple of weeks ago now. About 10 days ago, 12 days ago. So Ruthless Aggression Volume 2 is available now. It is a UK exclusive release. Uh, use the DVD, uh, WWE DVD CO UK website and, uh, you know, check that page out. Looks like they are available through Amazon for £10. So very good price. You know, you might get a, a little bit better deal with Amazon than through the WWE DVD website. I'm not 100% sure on that, but here's one we're going to get to in just a minute. But WrestleMania 38 DVD and Blu-ray, May 30th. So they are releasing alternate covers for the uh, WrestleMania DVD sets. They do this every year. Um, I think it's worth it. You get a nice digipack set and... You know, if you're a big fan of that, you're not a fan of the, uh, you know, the <laughs> watered down kind of cheapo DVD cases we, we've gotten uh, over the past couple of years. You know, order the UK exclusive. It, it's about 20 uh, pounds. You know, it, it is a, it can be a bit expensive, but for me... Uh, it, it's something I look forward to. It's WrestleMania. It's cool to get that, that you know, beautiful DVD set into the collection. Um, Elimination Chamber. It looks like it'll be released the 13th in uh, the UK. And the 14th of June in the US. So, yeah, they go through... Uh, is it Fremantle now, I think? So Fremantle is the uh, main distributor of the uh, UK releases. And look, man, we're getting tons of, of UK exclusives here over the past couple of years. Um, yeah, Dawn of the Attitude Era. Uh, 25th Anniversary Edition. It, it's pretty much just the Blu-ray re-released as a four disc set so if you're looking to get that i'd, I'd uh, suggest checking this out as well um you know personally i'm i'm just not a big fan of all these re-release sets I, I think they you know they, they could be doing so much more i get that it's still something but uh it, it's just not my cup of tea so, Chamber. So, the next premium live event, pay-per-view DVD after that, will be WrestleMania Backlash, July the 12th, 2022. So, we pretty much get a DVD every month now on out. And, uh, yeah, WrestleMania Backlash was a pretty good show. We had Rollins and Rhodes 2, Edge and Styles. Uh, really good six-man tag with the Bloodline, McIntyre, and RK Bro. So, so yeah, those are all our uh, premium live event pay-per-view DVDs. And uh, WrestleMania Backlash not yet listed on the UK side of things. Uh, not not sure why, but one set I am actually so looking forward to this year, SummerSlam 1992, 30 year anniversary. Can you believe it's been 30 years since that magnificent event? Man, it's uh, one of the greatest pay-per-view events of all time from Wembley Stadium, uh, I believe. A legitimate 80,000 strong in attendance. What an event that was. Brett the Hitman Hurt versus the British Bulldog for the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Championship. What an event and what a pay-per-view that was.
So that's August 29th, the 30th anniversary of SummerSlam. Definitely, you definitely got to get the Blu-ray with that. It's only 10 pounds, which uh, for our Canadian friends here, it, it's about, you know, 15 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks. You can't go wrong with that. And uh, if you pre-order it, it'll probably be you know, save you a couple of bucks with Amazon. So that's definitely one I'm going to pick up and definitely looking forward to that. SummerSlam 92. You know, we already have it with the uh, SummerSlam anthology, but uh, we will check it out in just a second here. We have one more to get through. Let's see. Undertaker Complete WrestleMania Collection. And that's all the way in November. So, uh, just a DVD set. This is one, again, I'm not a big fan of these re-release sets. We got the Streak DVD. We got the 20 and 0 DVD. We got the Streak DVD. We got the Coffin set. Um, so, this is one I could probably do without. Um, it will have, I think, the Undertaker's Hall of Fame speech. So, this might be my only reason to buy this. Because... For whatever reason, the WrestleMania DVDs do not have the, you know, Hall of Fame inductions. Not sure why. So, yeah, let's uh, go check out this uh, see if we can look at this uh, SummerSlam DVD quickly. So yeah, there it is. Beautiful artwork. I love the uh, cartoon style kind of cover they got going on here. So it will be available on Blu-ray. So yeah, WWE Home Video UK can officially announce the go-ahead of SummerSlam 92 Blu-ray and DVD in the UK and Germany commemorating the SummerSlam event held at Wembley Stadium 30 years ago like I mentioned and again I, I hate to keep beating a dead horse here there is absolutely no reason that Warner Brothers could not you know make a DVD set for this zero reason it's one of the greatest events of all time it, it's a, a huge anniversary why isn't this being released worldwide you put this on a shelf in walmart here in u.s and canada uh, i'm sure it'll you know do great numbers um fans love the nostalgia stuff you know i i can i can hate on all the uh re-releases all day but the fact is they do great numbers and if if, uh, you know, Warner Brothers is looking to kind of increase their their sales, put a, put a set like this on in, uh, in Canada, in U.S., and you're going to put this next to a, a WrestleMania Backlash or a, a similar DVD set like a SummerSlam of this year, and you might attract some new fans to say, hey, you know, I remember this from, uh, you know, 30 years ago. Wonder what they are doing today. So that's a, it's a way to bring in new fans, older fans, and a, it's a way to open the markets. So this cover artwork will be the design of the finished product. So this is not 100% final, but it is probably close to being the final design. So very, very cool. You know, you got IC Champion here, Bret Hart, British Bulldog, you know, classic. You got the date, the location. So the, uh, this uh, release will remaster the live event for the first time on Blu-ray and DVD, featuring the full show. And it will include three dark matches cut from the original broadcast when uh when the dvd freak and i uh reviewed this 
we were like, man, we don't remember these matches here. We're looking at the listings and we're like, what, what matches were these, you know? Um, you know, I'll look them up quickly here. So yeah, these dark matches include a six-man tag with uh, Jim Duggan, the Bushwhackers, the Nasty Boys, and the Mountie. Then we got Papa Shango and Tito Santana. And then we got a match like in the middle of the card, or towards the end of the card, I guess. Uh, Tatanka versus the Berserker, which was kind of like the the buffer between the uh, the Undertaker match and the main event. So it, it was, it's weird kind of looking at the card and seeing a dark match in the middle of the show. And you're like, you, you forget that this did air on a tape delay. It, I think it was originally taped either the night before or the day before. Or yeah, it, it was uh, August 29th and it aired a couple of days later, the 31st. Um, so pretty cool, actually, you know, so yeah, those three dark matches will be included and they aren't a part of the current WWE network showing either. So very, very cool. And those might not be the only bonuses. There might be a host of extras from the time with hints of more content being included that uh, potentially isn't available on the network. So very, very cool. So yeah, it's always weird to kind of see new stuff being released. Definitely got to go with the Blu-ray with this, guys. So the UK gets it Monday the 29th. Germany gets it the same week, uh, Friday the 2nd, September. So this is a free Mantle exclusive, so the title won't make it to the U.S. and Canada. Um, yeah, so for for a collector like myself and many others, definitely got to pre-order this, guys, from Amazon and WWE DVD.co.uk. If you're ever curious, check them out, man. They're very reliable. You know, you can get some deals there. So yeah, like. Very, very cool artwork here. Very plain, very basic, but, you know, the colors pop, the... Looks pretty clean. So, yeah, here's uh, what I was just saying. SummerSlam was taped, but uh, didn't actually air in the U.S. and on Sky Sports until the 31st. So during the same week, uh, Clash at the Castle will be held at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. And it's the first WWE pay-per-view held outside of the, the U.S. and Canada since uh, SummerSlam 92. And those three dark matches did air on Primetime Wrestling. And all featured pay-per-view broadcast team of Vince McMahon and Bobby Heenan. And in the UK, the Crush vs. Repo Man match never aired, but was included with the US pay-per-view. So very, very cool. I, I love this uh, DVD set. So now we got a quick look at our WrestleMania artwork here's the exclusive uh, artwork or alternate artwork for the exclusive Wrestlemania DVD set shot of the blu-ray two disc blu-ray so yeah, it doesn't mention any uh, thing of the you know bonus disc but uh, yeah, so there we have it, guys. The upcoming WWE DVD and Blu-ray releases 
from May through pretty much November. We will have some more pay-per-views being announced through probably now and the end of July, I, I'd imagine, you know, with Hell in a Cell, Money in the Bank. We'll have our SummerSlam pay-per-view coming up as well, so those will all get DVD sets. So there is absolutely no reason these, you know, exclusive DVDs cannot be brought to the U.S. and Canada. So let me know your thoughts on some of the upcoming releases. As always, we'll talk to you later. Peace.